Uh, it's the 11th of May, Friday. Uh, there's something interesting I want to talk to you guys about. Um, I'm gonna have my lunch, it's nice time. Hungry. Yeah, so I tried to record a bit there without the power bank, without, you know, charging it. It just went dead. Just the phone just went dead when I was taking out my food. This is my food, by the way. It's just standard, like, uh, emergency food for lunch. It's standard TV dinner that I'm having for lunch. Anyway, I don't know whether you guys, I, I think by the time this video comes out, you probably would have watched the, the Google I.O., the, the important aspects, the most important aspect, which is both exciting and scary. Is this? Hello, oh, happening out here. Hi, I'm calling to book a women's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May third. So, I give me one second. Mm-hmm. So, sure, what time are you looking for around? At 12 p.m. We do not have a 12 p.m. available. The closest we have to that is a 1:15. Do you have anything between 10 a.m. and uh, 12 p.m.? Depending on what service she would like, what service is she looking for? Just a woman's haircut for now. Okay, we have a 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. is fine. Okay, what's her first name? The first name is Lisa. Okay, perfect. So I will see Lisa at 10 o'clock on May 3rd. Okay, great. Thanks. Great. Have a great day. Bye. Scary, right? It's like Skynet's here, man. Skynet begins to learn at a geometric rate. It becomes self-aware. Skynet's here. If you, and if you think that was staged, try to see this part where there was a lot of like unexpected uh, answers from, from the human. See how may I hear you? Hi, um, I'd like to reserve a table for Wednesday the 7th. For seven people? Um, it's for four people. Four people? When? Um, Today, next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Oh, actually we leave here for like, upper like uh, five people. For few, four people you can come. How long is the wait usually to uh, be seated? For, when tomorrow or weekday or for next Wednesday uh the seventh oh no it's not too busy you you, you can come for four people okay oh I got gotcha. you thanks yeah. bye bye uh realistically low it's it's like this it's exciting because um this the Google Duplex AI is able to really mimic human speech and able to understand all the nuances and all that it is great it's super exciting but it's also terrifying because skynet but on the realistic side right there are more issues with regards to uh, impersonation and uh, because you know a guy doing retail or, or you know service on a service line when you're talking to someone it, it, good to know that it's actually a person uh, that you're talking to and not like some automated generated thing which actually Google Duplex is um, so it, it brings about that issue of whether it's impersonating someone even though I understand that it's trying to help someone to like get an appointment at a place that doesn't have an online booking system or something like that but but it, it's still impersonation because it's not an actual person I also understand the argument that uh, it may not be efficient for the Google Assistant to state that it is a Google Assistant because then you know people who are working in services and all that will hear that and they'll think well, I'm talking to a machine man I'll put down the phone and you're not gonna get any bookings done that way no, no, even though I'm really excited, there's there's another um, concern, um, which is basically trolling. I, mean, I, I gotta go through this first. So yeah, the the thing is, with this kind of technology, uh, people can like create accounts. Like one person can create like twenty accounts, and they have all the accounts assistants like go around booking stuff until everything is fully booked and just not show up. So that's that's a way to abuse it that I can foresee if they don't um, manage to 
um, like um, restricted, I guess. Anyway, my good teacher's here. She's gonna eat her lunch. There. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, so we're gonna do some paperwork and and stuff. Um, so maybe I catch you in a bit. Yeah, I'm I'm uh, home now, and lighting's not that good. You know, you see the flickering. I actually wanted to to record a small little bit at work, but then um, you know after doing some of the paperwork, I got caught up in a meeting for uh, an IT meeting. I know a, a bit ironic, right? Um, after talking about the Google Duplex thing, I got caught up in an IT meeting. It was fruitful. Uh, those of you involved, if you're watching this, it was. It, I, I felt it was fruitful. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I felt it was fruitful. So anyway, I wanted to share with you guys uh, that I've gotten a power bank. Well, that's not really true. Kind soul, George. His name is George, a uh, friend of mine. He he gave me. Uh, a power bank that he does he's not using anymore power bank in question uh it's a free power bank that we got when uh i i, I don't remember which event it was but it's one of the uh workplace events where they give out you know free goodie bags and stuff um it's an okay power bank it helps a bit but i don't think it can help with uh with vlogging but i'll give it a shot if it does then uh Maybe all hope is not lost yet, and maybe I can do some uh, just as is uh, videos as well. I I I don't know. I'm not I'm not quite sure. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I hope it works. But in any case, I thought of um, an alternative in case this doesn't work uh, or work as well as it should. I thought of an alternative for the June holidays, uh, which might work considering that um, it's the fasting month more on that later uh, this will be a short video i just wanted to get the google duplex thing in um yeah um, i like to say that it's good news with with uh the it meeting that i had at work uh it's good news with regards to the paperwork that that was finally settled because i was not available to do the paperwork the last few days uh apologies my fault i also just want to thank my friend uh george for this um it, it helps it helps it definitely helps but Will it be enough? I, I don't know. I'll, I will test it out and see uh, over the next few days and, and uh, uh, how much juice this can actually churn out, you know? Um, yeah, so, so that's all for now. Till next time, guys. Peace.